What's going on YouTube? Today's video, we're going to do draw shots. I'm going to do a video on how to do a draw shot with a closed bridge and then an open bridge and try to predict where the cue ball is going to go after you do a draw shot. A draw shot, as you can see, this is for an example. A draw shot is when the cue ball is doing a backspin before it hits the object ball. And it still has that backspin. Once it contacts that object ball, it's, it will still have that backspin. Also with the draw shot, if, it's, if the cue ball is coming on an angle, the cue ball spinning backwards will not come back to the same location where you hit it. It will, it will go off in a different direction depending on how hard you hit it and how soft you hit it. The harder you hit it, yep, on my last video I explained about the 90 degree rule. It will come slightly off on the 90 degree, then, then the friction will take part and bring the cue ball backwards. To get a good draw shot, you have to have a good stroke. So one of the biggest thing is to practice a good stroke is actually just get the cue ball. What I like to do is place it on the third diamond on the long rail and a half diamond on the short rail and actually just practice the stroke itself. The biggest thing is that when you're stroking, you want the cue as level as possible. So this is gonna be for an open bridge. You want the you want your tip almost to the bottom of that cue ball and just practice that stroke with a level cue. This is how it looks when you do a close bridge. Getting that tip almost to the bottom of that cue ball and make sure your cue is level as possible. One way to practice these shots on drawing is actually getting the object ball and getting it halfway between the short rail in front of, in front of the side pocket and getting the cue ball on the middle of the table itself right in front of that object ball. For this shot, we're gonna do an open bridge on the draw shot. Make sure you top your cue. Get your alignment, go down to your shot, a level Q, aim low, Alright, this one is for the closed bridge. Like I said before, make sure you chalk your cue. Align, align up to the shot. Make sure your cue is level as possible. Get your tip as low as possible. Get a loose grip. Aim and follow through. I just did some of the draw shots with no angle on the object ball and the cue ball. So now we're gonna do a draw shot with an angle on the cue ball and the object ball going into the side pocket. One way to set this up is you're gonna get your object ball and like I said, get this half on the half diamond on the short rail and get your cue ball slightly off angle so you actually have an angle going to the side pocket. One thing with a draw shot with, a, with an angle, it's kind of hard to predict where the cue ball is going to go because it's controlled by how hard you hit the cue ball. The cue ball on a harder shot with a draw shot, it still pick up the tangent line. So the tangent line for this one, like I said previously, wherever the object ball is going to the pocket, will be 90 degrees so it will pick up a 90 degree angle before the backspin actually takes place so if you do a soft draw shot it should almost come 30 degrees out 
the harder you hit it, we'll keep holding on to that 90 degrees. And sometimes you could even get into the pocket. So what I do for my drills is practice it. I have chops lined up and I try to aim at those diamonds and I try to get consistent on those. Once you start getting confidence in your draw shots and to practice more on your draw shots is actually get your object ball and place it on the center of the table itself and get your cue ball. What I like to do is actually almost between the third diamond and the second diamond on the long rail. And that way I actually have a good bridge position and I would pocket this and practice pocketing the object ball in the corner pocket. Once you're confident with the object ball in the center of the table, then you would want to move it to the next diamond. And then once you're confident with that, then you want to move your object ball where you're on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. As you can see, I did some of these draw shots and try to progress on these shots, practice them yourself and try to control the cue ball itself. And on the next video, I'm going to do a stop shot and why I think the stop shot is the, one of the most important shots in pull. I hope this video was informative and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye.